I am Daniel Kent, but most people uh, call me DK, so feel free to call me DK. Uh, I serve as the Director of Product Management for Personalization at Dow Jones on our, on our product team. Over the last 10 years, I've worked in product management, kind of at the intersection of product and machine learning. And at Dow Jones, I have the best job at the company which is developing personalization as an ecosystem approach, empowering our readers uh, to make better decisions for a better future. And I do this by leading a rock star team um, on all of our efforts around personalization. I'm really thrilled to be here talking with y'all uh, today, chatting about some of the exciting work that uh, we've uh, worked on at Dow Jones together with uh, our partners at AWS called the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition. Uh, the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition uh, empowers our users with trusted news and data to help customers make decisions. Um, but before that, let's uh, go ahead and get started with a walkthrough of what we'll be covering today. All right, so today we'll begin by highlighting the teams that came together to build the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition. We'll then talk more about Dow Jones' rich tradition in journalism and data about our different parts, and we'll later touch on more of how they come together to build this product. We'll then discuss about how personalization is key to helping users access the content that they need. And then for the focus of today, um, which I'm sure y'all are really excited about, uh, we'll dive into a product that we, again, have been developing called the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition. We'll cover important uh, build considerations and why we selected uh, Amazon Personalize. We'll go over our high-level AWS and Amazon architecture. And then we'll also chat about other important considerations uh, when building a content recommendation engine. Then we'll make sure we wrap it up uh, and talk about how you can learn more. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it. So for you folks who have worked with product managers or perhaps are product managers yourself, you know um, that product development is the pinnacle of team sports. And what we're going to discuss today is the accumulation of countless hours of work across Dow Jones and an AWS ProServe team that include the disciplines of UX researchers and customer intelligence analysts who help validate the business opportunity and user feedback. UX architects who have developed the information architecture and user flow. Uh, UX designers who've helped craft the front end experience for the user as well as software engineers who've built the functionality on the web and email uh, for user interactions. Uh, of course, we have data engineers who uh, have built the pipelines enabling data to flow between different systems, and data scientists, data architects, and ML engineers who've developed the machine learning capabilities for the recommender system. Uh, but wait, there's more. Um, there's privacy and data governance professionals who've guided us with a privacy by design methodology, making sure that we're good stewards of our data. More on that in a bit. Uh, program managers who've made sure that all the trains run on time, as well as our go-to-market teams uh, who helped ensure that we craft uh, all of our products in a way that resonates with our prospective customers. And of course, us product managers architecting and shepherding the product, being chief cheerleaders uh, for, this, uh, for this product. So definitely been a, uh, a team sport. All right. Let's now turn to Dow Jones. Dow Jones was founded over 140 years ago. And at Dow Jones, we're fortunate that we're a global provider of news and business information. We reach our millions of readers and subscribers across a multitude of platforms. These include website, mobile app, newsletters, magazine, and of course, print, uh, proprietary databases, live journalism, uh, podcasts, as well as videos. And internally across our experience organization, our mission is to empower people using a collaborative, customer-led and data-led 
uh, approach, working with our partners to build industry-leading products and internal solutions that activate the whole of Dow Jones and support a, the wider mission of being the dominant provider of trusted journalism data analysis for decision makers. And you'll see this in practice as we step through the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition. All right, so Dow Jones business is diversified across both business to consumer and business to business offerings, uh, meeting the needs of a wide range of audience uh, of, of professionals. Uh, you'll likely recognize a number of the media brands on the left, uh, where our audience are individual consumers like yourself and myself, uh, where we provide insights, research, and understanding that help our readers stay informed and make educated and informed decisions. Uh, touching on a few, uh, the Wall Street Journal is for the business professional to further uh, their company, their job, their roles, their career, personal finance, and in general, the business of life. Uh, Barron's focus is on the future and the business of investing for readers and their clients. And then Market Watch is how our readers stay in sync with the drumbeat of the market. These and other media brands address the different components of the business ecosystem and that you know, affect, or address the fact that our customers, our readers, uh, wear multiple and different hats. Some just need to know the high level uh, earnings information while others need in-depth analysis to inform their decision making. Dow Jones also has a segment of professional information products uh, targeting enterprise customers, combining uh, news and information with the technology and tools to really drive decisions and aid awareness, research, and understanding. As one example, many of you might have heard of Factiva. And Factiva is actually the leading provider of global business content built on a foundation of original and licensed public sources. With the content from over 33,000 global news and information sources from over 200 countries and over 29 languages, Factiva really helps professionals find, monitor, and interpret uh, the essential information that they need to be the most successful individual in their role. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and move on. Um, but these are, again, just a sampling of some of the many other Dow Jones brands and businesses uh, that drive those insights, research, and understanding, and the quality journalism and data that come together in our Wall Street Journal Executive Edition. Okay, but before we get to that, my favorite topic, uh, personalization at Dow Jones. First, let's start off with some terminology because personalization can mean different things to different people. At Dow Jones, the way that I talk about personalization is it's the strategy that leverages user experiences, machine learning, and other techniques to tailor products and experiences, create value, and develop new revenue generating uh, products and experiences. And this in turn drives acquisition, engagement, renewals, and loyalty by offering our customers unparalleled choice, control, convenience, relevancy, and insights. Now, personalization development is not just a toolkit, but it's an investment that takes place over time in an ecosystem to power different user experiences leading to our specific outcomes of acquisition, engagement, and retention. So personalization is all about providing the right content and the right experiences when, where, and how our readers want it. And the foundation of personalization at Dow Jones is predicated on user choice, which we'll cover a little bit more. As a few examples, you know, if you visit the Journal or Barron's or again, any of our other brands, you know, you're able to say, follow your favorite author or uh, your favorite, you know, companies. You can add important securities or instruments, uh, stocks and bonds, equities and so forth to your personalized uh, watch list. And as well, you can uh, customize your interests in our membership hub. Um, based upon the engagement that we've seen with active personalization across all of our products, as well as customer research revealing a market opportunity for more relevant personalized news, we've been working on this Wall Street Journal executive.
edition, uh, which we'll now turn to uh, on how it empowers customers with a significant competitive information advantage. Okay, so the vision for the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition is to provide business professionals with a seamlessly integrated and personalized Wall Street Journal digital experience that really leverages the breadth and depth of Dow Jones and Factiva content with an additional focus on news and insights relevant to their jobs. In other words, it's taking, again, the best of Dow Jones and Factiva, so the best of Dow Jones journalism and data, and provides convenience, control, relevancy, and insights. So I was mentioning some of this customer research before, and according to this research, fewer than one in two business professionals feel like they're able to get through all the news content that they want each day. And you know, this is definitely the case for me, and in part due to the overabundance of notifications that you receive across email, the web, your phone, and so forth. And this really begets a challenge when prioritizing your news consumption discovering, well, new news, and is part of the thesis of why we developed the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition. Specifically, to cut through that noise to provide the trusted, relevant, new news uh, and information, again, through user choice. This is a premium experience that companies purchase to empower their employees and also offer as a valuable employee benefit. Uh, in our walkthrough of the uh, user experience momentarily, uh, we'll imagine ourselves as AWS employees who get to enjoy the full capabilities of the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition. And this is all about, again, bringing the best of Dow, that Dow Jones has to offer, the quality journalism of Dow Jones brands like the Wall Street Journal, Barron's, Market Watch, and more, the power of the Factiva business search and deep catalog of business news and information, um, driven by user control, leveraging the Amazon personalized platform. And again, more on that in a bit. Okay, so let's take a moment and walk through some of the uh, experience that you can expect to see firsthand as a user of the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition. Of course, it's still a product that we continue to develop, um, so you'll have to stay tuned for more on how it continues to evolve and update, but let's take a look now. Okay. So you're all busy professionals, and as a Wall Street Journal subscriber, the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition is seamlessly integrated into your Wall Street Journal experience that you know and love, and is accessed through your Wall Street Journal account. No need to go to a different domain. Here we have for the AWS employees, the AWS Executive Edition of the Wall Street Journal with content personalized for you based on your individual control and choice. Now, you know, many individuals rely on the good editorial judgment and expert curation of our newsrooms to ensure that they have a wide range and understand all the news that they want and need to know. We now infuse this with personalization about the companies and industries that you tell us that you're interested in. User choice is paramount, as we'll discuss shortly, and it really drives Amazon Personalized's recommendation engine. So now let's, let's say we suppose we click on an article on the journal. Um, you know, any article, even those that aren't specifically recommended in the Amazon Web Services edition. We'll see that for the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition for AWS readers, it meets you where you are and follows you around the site. It provides that valuable news personalized especially for you on every single article page. We've shown you how it's seamlessly integrated uh, views of interacting with the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition, but we have an even more immersive experience for users who want unprecedented control and to be able to slice and dice through the news that is most relevant and matters most to them. All right, now this is what we're calling the news dashboard is content completely personalized for you based upon aspects like the company that you work for and specific interests that you've set up. 
no longer do you need to worry about FOMO or fear of missing out, about news about your clients, about your partners, your industry, um, or the competition, or your company itself. The Wall Street Journal Executive Edition provides you the hub for intelligent decision making and does so with the power of all Dow Jones brands and content in addition to the power of Factiva, a multitude of sources in a range of industries and sectors from tree nut farming to government regulation. You'll see that there are four tabs at the top and we'll cover these momentarily, but please direct your attention to the right-hand rail under the headings, your interests and suggested interests for you. These sections are the, at the heart of our active personalization features for individuals to tailor their experience and really make it their own. Again, our philosophy is to empower users by giving them choice and control over the content that they uh, see and read. And this was an important component built in into the AWS, the Amazon personalization engine we developed with the AWS ProServe team. Besides being able to click and read in the entirety of each article, in the article experience we just saw a couple of screens ago, in the news dashboard, we're intentionally driving transparency about why our content is being recommended and what our content is about. From the, the top to the bottom, uh, you'll see first uh, the, the term acquisitions. This is what we call a corporate signal, which is an ML-powered content classification model uh, that detects major corporate events. There are dozens and dozens of corporate events and signals um, ranging from mergers and acquisitions to divestitures to new product launches, leadership changes, and even corporate crime. Important things that, as in, your, in, the, in the course of doing business, you'll want to know. And again, this is surfaced easily to the, uh, the, the reader for easy scanning and context about what the content is about. Additionally, right below that is perhaps my favorite feature, um, which we again developed in conjunction with Amazon Personalize, which is in service to our commitment for algorithmic transparency of content recommendations. So for each content that we recommend, we display the reason that that piece of content was recommended. And this helps you understand why articles are showing up and helps, inf uh, helps inform your platform. Uh, so for instance, rationale statements uh, might include things like, in this example, because people in your company are reading this, or because you follow technology as an industry of interest, and perhaps because this article is trending or is popular, and so forth. Finally, we have the tabs such as industries, companies, and signals, in which you're able to see the most relevant news on the industries and companies, respectively, that you've indicated an interest in. Uh, we display which industry the article is most important to, so that you're, if you're short on time, you can easily scan and read the content that matters most. Now let's talk about the Amazon personalized platform and our process of building the content recommendation engine. The Wall Street Journal Executive Edition we just saw uh, and the capabilities uh, in it leverage the advanced uh, personalized engine developed by Amazon, Amazon Personalize. Amazon Personalize and the AWS ProServe team were a great partner uh, for this use case. Their long-standing expertise in recommender systems, particularly applied to the media and entertainment industry, was really valuable along with their customer obsession, diving deep into the most important parts of building the platform, and delivering results that made this a rewarding engagement and relationship. Now, we initially began with uh, customer discovery among, around the most important critical components. Um, for folks in the audience who have a background in perhaps ML or recommender systems, we were faced with a decision of what should we optimize for? Uh, certainly, there are a multitude of opportunities, things like clicks, session time of articles, uh, session page views, scroll depth, retention session per day, 
articles read per session, shares, saves and prints and so forth. Ultimately, what we decided to go for for the busy business professional is relevance of content that was paramount. And so uh, for a first go of things, uh, we decided to keep things straightforward. Uh, so consequently, we optimized for the likelihood that the user will engage with the content that was recommended to them. In other words, click through rate. One personal philosophy and philosophy of developing products at Dow Jones is that it's done with privacy by design. This is manifested in our privacy council and data governance teams, incorporating them throughout the entire build process to ensure that our customers' trust was among the most important values kept in mind in the architecture and development. At Dow Jones, uh, we empower customers by giving them notice and choice. Hence the development of components like the rationales that we saw. And this content was being recommended and the user control over interests that informed the recommendation engine. Unequivocally, trust is essential to Dow Jones' mission and com future commercial success. Trust is implicitly something you build over time and you know, fortunately something we've had for the last 140 years. And we appreciate that it can be lost in an instant by a single mistake, so we make sure that we are good stewards of our users' data and architect systems that preserve trust. All right, on to the system architecture. It's relatively straightforward and we'll discuss things at a high level. The platform is based in the AWS ecosystem and leverages the application synergies of being in this environment. We'll navigate through these components one by one in a clockwise uh, manner. And uh, let's, so let's first start off with uh, data ingestion. As all y'all are, are aware, you can't build a good ML content recommender without good quality data, and at Dow Jones, we're very fortunate to have lots of high quality first party data. User data refers to the user's interactions as well as the profile data that they decide that they want to share with us. Content data is about the articles as well as their associated metadata and tags. <clears throat> Excuse me, for historical data, we have a batch ingestion process uh, that takes into account the content and the user data and subsequently cleans them up through an Amazon Glue ETL and then sends it to Amazon Personalized through a Lambda. Uh, this gets us the initial data on which we train our models. Uh, we subsequently, um, let's see, we subsequently uh, then, uh, uh, let's see, we subsequently then have both the content and user event streams that run through Amazon Kinesis uh, event stream that are fed into Amazon Personalize through a Lambda. And uh, in Amazon Personalize, uh, we have the user's interactions with our Dow Jones properties, content item data, and user profile data that are used in the model inferencing. Um, so for each variant of a model that we train, we have the model solution, which is the trained model, but not yet productionalized. And we do this productionalization in a campaign. And then um, the final business logic is then applied as appropriate. Uh, skipping to the top uh, right, approximately the two o'clock, uh, we have in our deployment box two primary AWS step functions that execute, one for periodic updating of the data sets, another one for the different retrainings of our model. Uh, right below that, we have at the approximately five o'clock, um, we have our integrated A-B testing, which is uh, through Amazon Evidently, and that allows us to run online experiments uh, with multiple models concurrently. Uh, now skipping over to the, the bottom left, the uh, seven o'clock, really testing my uh, knowledge of, of the, the hours, um, we have a Lambda that outputs the content recommendations and are managed by an app config that directs the campaign, A-B tests, um, and other things uh, for the system to use. And all of these are accessible and consumable by Dow Jones Graph, uh, GraphQL API, uh, so it can be used in a number of different uh, instances. 
All right, fantastic. Let's, let's now move on to a couple of, of special uh, interest topics. First of all, being that of interests. Um, earlier, we discussed about the importance of user choice. Um, and this is at the heart of the content recommendations driven by, again, these explicit user interests. Now, users will have the ability to continuously add additional industries and companies of interest, and in the case of changing preferences, will have the power to remove, uh, remove these interests, which will then be factored into the content recommendations. An important feature of many content recommendation engines is novel content discovery. We'll touch on this in two ways, but uh, in implicit user interest and later in terms of popular and trending news. So the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition is but one of many ways that users will consume Dow Jones content. And we listen carefully to the types of and subject matters of content that readers focus on and subsequently introduce additional content that may not be in the user's explicit interests. We deem this con uh, the consistent patterns of content that a user reads implicit interests, which may change over an intermediate period of time. Perhaps I'm keen on a subject for one week, um, but afterwards my interests change and this interest would then dissipate, in contrast to the explicit interests that I am more intentionally declaring. These implicit interests and, uh, will wax and wane through the content recommendations as a function of the user's other content consumption habits. Now, this is a novel way of recommending content for us, and we'll be, of course, be monitoring it closely, making sure that our readers particularly understand why these types of content are being recommended to them. All right. Now let's move on to trending and popular news. Again, while we understand the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition is one of many different ways that users will consume Dow Jones content, we want to include content that is significant to all users of the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition experience. News has a velocity and its vectors change constantly. To this end, in the spirit of further content discovery of novel topics, we layer in content about stories that are trending. That is, stories that are on the upswing at your company or perhaps across all of Dow Jones readership. Or perhaps stories that are already popular, already at the peak, or at, again, your company or perhaps across all of Dow Jones readership. These may be tied directly into your explicit or implicit interests, but they may not. This still represents a significant topic that you can learn more about. An important premise of the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition is that it's news that you can use. We all know that there are different types of content. Some are evergreen, while some other news content grow stale quickly. For instance, in live breaking news, an article can quickly become out of date. That's why we've invested in additional logic and levers that allow us to address the timeliness factor of news. Recall if you've ever, say, picked up a newspaper uh, or magazine that was perhaps a day or a week old, it's okay to you know, kind of give you a general sense of what's going on, but with the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition, it's focused on giving you the most current updates. If a story gets too old or if a subject has not had a lot written on it recently, perhaps of the financial company uh, First Boston until recently, for example, we're comfortable not making older recommendations because we want to prioritize your content with the most important news that you can use and make decisions. Finally, we come to our last consideration when building our content recommendation engine, that for new users um, that we haven't seen before. In ML, y'all will know this as the cold start problem. It's difficult to make recommendations to users of whom you have little or sparse data about. In other words, you know, if we don't have the user's data about their past browsing uh, patterns or interests, we're challenged by, uh, with making good recommendations. 
And so we navigate this quandary by doing a couple of things. One, by creating an onboarding step that encourages users to select a number of companies and industry interests, kind of preceding their interests by uh, for ordering on what are, they're most interested in. So for computational speed and performance, you know, we also rely on the wisdom of the crowds and initially show the most popular articles in those different groups. Excuse me. Um, and then we intently listen for the user's interactions on what they're interested in and what they're not interested in, even on top of explicit interests. All right, so that about wraps it up. I really, really appreciate you joining me today and hearing about what we're working on and the future of personalization at Dow Jones with our partners at AWS and Amazon. AWS has been a collaborative partner with a strong technology platforms suited for our needs, particularly because what we develop with Amazon Personalize is extensible to other content recommendation use cases. In summary, we chatted about who we are and the multifaceted team that came together to build this. We went over Dow Jones' rich tradition of journalism and data, and Dow Jones' different parts that come together in the, in the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition. We covered why personalization is important at Dow Jones, um, and how the Wall Street Journal Executive Edition is an important step forward. We then covered important build considerations, its high-level architecture, and other important product problems to solve for, including trending and popular content, recommendations for, news, uh, for new users, and the timeliness of news. Again, thank you so much for spending a little over half an hour with me um, some of your, and some of your time at this conference learning about how Dow Jones is using personalization, again, to create um, value by providing users control, convenience, relevance, and insights. If you think that the executive edition is something that your own company would benefit from, or if you have questions or would like to learn more about the Wall Street Journal executive edition um, or more about our, our partnership with uh, Amazon uh, and AWS, please feel free to just shoot me a note. Um, be sure to swing by and say hi at the AMT industry kiosk on the first floor of, of this building, Caesars Forum at 2 to 3 p.m. to chat more with us at Dow Jones. And uh, for my other favorite thing besides personalization, snacks. I look forward to seeing you out there in the conference. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for uh, giving us your time. And have a great rest of your Monday. <laughs>